I hope you're well. Uh, we're out in the camper van again and there's a new product out from EcoFlow. Look at this. The EcoFlow Glazier. Fridge freezer and ice maker. Independently um, monitored unit so you can have this as a freezer that as a freezer, all of it as a freezer, or the other way around. Basket in there to make things easy to get in and out. And this is quite clever, this dividing thing, so you can turn it all into one large compartment. And this dividing unit actually fits in here. If I can do it one-handed. There we go. How good is that? This is actually one design boards. It's just come out. I've got this before they were actually on the market, so I've been reading up on some of the briefing information about it. What a really well made piece of kit, and quite clever, quite clever what they've done with this. And uh, really, really useful if you've got a camper van or if you've got a boat. Like most people who have a camper van, we have one of these fridges in. There's lots of different makes of them. They're quite expensive for what they are, the size of them, and they're totally inefficient. <laughs> and what I mean by they're inefficient, they don't use a lot of power, but because they're like a standard fridge, as soon as you open this, and if you remember your school science lessons, cold air falls, so all your cold air that you've got in here falls out the bottom as soon as you open it. And then the warm air comes in to the top where the freezer unit is. So they're really small, Small freezer unit in there and a small fridge. But they was a game changer when they come out and they've been out for some time. And most camper vans you'll see various variations of this model. But just so inefficient, as soon as you open the door, all the cold air comes out and then it starts to get warm in there. And then as soon as you close it, the compressor comes on and it runs itself from there onwards. So having something like this, a chest fridge freezer, it's far more efficient and a better use of space. I love my camper van. My camper van was fitted out a few years back now by All Things Timber, AD and Joe, and they've done an amazing job. Absolute amazing job. And I wouldn't change anything. There's not been any problems or any faults with anything. But now this is out, I wouldn't have had that fridge fitted. I'd have had this fridge, fridge fitted on a pull out somewhere so it'll be on runners so you could actually pull it out or just have it in the garage because that's great but it's small you can't get a lot in it and as soon as you put a few beers in a bottle of milk and a few um food items it's full this is going to be far far better this is going to live in the garage of my camper van that's obviously built in so we'll still have it in for milk and stuff but this will be the main food storage in the back of our camper van it's a compressor fridge. It's not a cool box. It's got a proper compressor fridge inside. And it's uh, the display on here allows you to manage each section of the interior. So as it is at the moment, there's only one temperature coming up there because I haven't got the dividing unit in. But once you put the dividing unit in, this actually knows it's two separate units and you can set the temperature for one side or the other side. So if you see one side slightly bigger than the other, so if you want more of a freezer area, you can set this temperature to be freezing and have that as your fridge. It's got lights in there. And as I showed you a minute ago, this fancy design of a divider that can be used within the middle Trying to do it with one hand is not the best. And that just slides in the middle there. And as you see, it now knows that this has been used as two separate units. How clever is that? So if it's been used as two separate units, you can set the temperature on each one. So this one there, if we want that to be the freezer, we can move that up or down whichever we want it to be and if we want that side to be the fridge we can move that one up and down real simple easy and if you notice here these are the current temperatures it's at i've just brought it out if you notice here it's got a built-in battery as well 
this is the battery pack you can recharge this in the unit but it's also got a USB-C on it as well so if you want to charge your phone or your laptop from your actual fridge when you're out and about because this is portable it's got handles on I'll show you in a bit it actually has wheels that fit onto it as well this brick fits into there and you can run the full fridge off that for 48 hours and as I say you can run your laptop or your phone from it when you're out so if you take it down to the beach or you're having a barbecue in the garden you can plug stuff in that to run it from it charging wise if you want to charge it off the mains there's a brick adapter there three pin plug and if you want to charge it while you're driving along there's a cigarette lighter socket there and they just plug into here and of course this will run off a solar panel as well 220 watt solar panel i'm just going to read out some of the key stats for this unit because there's that much information and i don't want to miss anything so it's the whale's first um, portable fridge freezer with an integral ice maker and plug-in battery and i think that's what they won the award for it can run up to 40 hours um, with its 298 watt hour plug-in battery it can make ice within 12 minutes and it makes 18 of these little bullet ice uh, cubes i'll show them in a minute it's fast but speed cool and it's really efficient we we've used this a few times now just playing about with it in the house and uh, it gets the freezer part gets frozen really really quick and the fridge comes up to temperature quick as well of course you can run this from an EcoFlow product as well so if you have something like a, a delta a, a power pack you could plug this directly into it and run it as an app so the and it's not a new app the ecoflow app that you get for all the ecoflow products this is on there as one of their products so you can switch it on and you can monitor the temperatures and everything so that's really useful so if this is in your garage like we're going to use it instead of having to go in and see if the temperatures are okay you can actually just click onto the app and see what it's doing and you can move the temperatures up and down so this is the ice maker and it's got this little tray in here and these stainless steel units in here actually get really cold really quick. So there's a level on the back of this little container here and you fill it up with water and within 12 minutes it makes 18 ice cubes on those little pins. And the ice cubes actually sit on the pins. And then you can lift this out and there's a little cutaway in the corner to pour your ice cubes out. And if you have any water or any liquid left in here, there's a drain in the bottom corner and down on the side there's a panel where you remove a pipe to actually drain this out to keep it clean. For cleaning purposes, as well as this panel coming out and obviously this crate to have your products in, it's got a drain on the bottom down there as well so you can undo that and it drains out the bottom. We've popped back into the cottage just to give us a bit more room but I'll show you how to make some ice cubes on this unit. All the operation processes on this are so easy. So you just simply open that and there's a level at the back. You might not be able to see, it's a bit dark. And you just fill it to about that level. That'll do. Close the lid and then switch on the ice maker. And off it goes. And it reckons in 17 minutes we'll have some ice cubes. And when it's done, it beeps at you. And in there, you have ice cubes. <laughs> How good are them? <laughs> Cheers. And any excess water in there you want to re release, there's a little flap on the side here and a pipe. And you pull the pipe out and just drain it out. Now in this separate box, comes this handle, which fits on the side. And in the bottom here, there's two wheels that you can bolt on to make it more portable. Comes with a screwdriver and all the fittings that you need to do it. The wheels are really easy to fit, 
But it fits it like that. There's a little peg on there that slides in there. And there's some pre-drilled holes on the socket with a thread in. And the wheels just screw in like that. Two screws in each one. And the same with the bottom one. If you want to you can remove this handle so if you don't have the wheels on and you want to get it closer in the garage these on these covers come off and there's a bolt in there and this just unscrews but with those wheels on there you can wheel it in and out so if this is in the garage of the camper van without fitting this extendable handle just having those wheels on there enables it to be solid and then when you want to wheel it out you just lift it up that little bit and it wheels out nice and easy what a brilliant idea that is, I really like that. So on this side of the unit, the opposite side to the wheels, <clears throat> there's a little screw you take out the bottom there, and this just pulls off to reveal the screw holes and the bracket for this extendable handle that can be fitted. I'll just go to the other side. That's the other side removed, and in the pack, there's some screws that fit into here. And this actual unit just fits on here like so. And these screws that come with it, and six of them, they're going over in the... It even comes with little screws you have to put them in. So they're all screwed in there. That hole there is for the adjustment of the handle. So if this ever comes loose or you want to tighten it up or slacken it off, there's a access point there. And in the kit you get two of these, which are self-adhesive, that cover the ends over. Like so. There's one for the other side as well. You can remove this handle if you want once you've fitted this, but there's enough room to have them both on. So if you want to lift it, you've got that on there, and it, your hand doesn't catch on this one. And then you've got this pull-down extendable one here. And you can lift it up and wheel it about on. How good is that? You see lots of camper vans that have pull out shelves in the garage and they have bikes and things on them and this works in that way. So you just slide it in and out the garage. Or if you want to take it down to the beach or down the garden or to a barbecue, you've got this additional handle on there that you can walk with it. It's going to fit perfectly in the back of our camper van. So pleased with that. Mm -hmm.